CSS text animations are a cool way for your website to look more alive, especially on the home page on when you're applying hover effects. I'm going to take you through different types of animations you can apply to text, such as text shadow or changing the color or even just changing the font size. Let's jump right into it. We'll start with a completely blank document as usual, and we'll create a few tags in here for what we'll start animating. Let's do a H1 tag called animation, and we'll do a H2 tag in here with something like maybe uh, letter spacing, uh, maybe we'll add in something like opacity, and even something like font size. With these, we'll separate these out with spans, and we can later also animate these as well, which will be really cool. And finally, let's have a look at styling this page a little bit so that you guys can see it a little bit better. For the body, we might do a background of black. So let's do this here. And for the H1 and H2 tags, we'll do a color of white. On top of that, we'll align everything to be centered by making the page height have a min height of 100 view height. We'll turn it into a display flex and we'll justify its position to center and we'll align its uh, position to center as well. Finally, we'll also make sure that the flex direction is column so that way we can see what's going on and these have a nice separation. So that's looking really good. For the H1 tag, we might make it a little bit bigger, maybe something like 5 EM, maybe even 7.5 EM. And for the H2 tag, we might make that also a little bit bigger by making that maybe a font size 5 EM, maybe, uh, let's have a look, 2.5. There we go. And finally, let's update the line height for these items. Uh, and let's just make them a line height of one for the time being. We'll remove the margins that are happening at the top and bottom here, just so that these items are fitting well in together. I'll apply this to the H1 and the H2 tag, and we can start looking at now creating some animation for these elements. Quick pause. My name's Adrian, and I'm doing videos around design and development. So if you like this kind of content and you want to see more like it, hit like and subscribe, and let's just jump right back into it. So the first type of CSS text animation we'll apply is the classic glow effect, which is applied by using text shadow. We'll apply this to the H1 tag by doing an and hover and doing text dash shadow with a five pixel X and Y axis with a white color. If we apply this and hover over, we can see that it applies immediately, but there's no transition. So to add a transition, we'll do transition and we'll do maybe ease 0.5 seconds on the text shadow property. Now if we apply this, it's got a nice transition there, but the effect isn't that great. We want it to look like it's glowing. So to do that, we'll do a zero pixel on the X and Y axis, but we'll add a blur. Now for the blur, maybe we'll do something like 150 pixels. If we apply this, we can see that it is now glowing, but it's not very much. So to make this look a little bit better, we can overlay this with a few versions. And if we apply this, we can see that it's working a little bit better now, but it still doesn't look that great. It looks like it's uh, got too many shadows happening on the same width and height. So what we can do is we can decrease to this to 75 pixels and maybe this to 30 pixels. If we apply that now, we can see that the text animation has a lot better of a glow effect now. And this is sort of what we're after. So for this next part, we're gonna use a CSS property called animation and keyframes. And we're gonna create an animation for the H1 tag, changing its letter spacing, for example. Now we can do this by calling at keyframes and giving it a label such as the H1 tag in this case. We'll pass a 0% and a 100% variable here, which is the animation points at which the keyframes will apply. And we might start off with a letter spacing of maybe something like 1EM and go down to something like maybe uh, 2EM. In the H1 tag, what we can do is we can do animation, we'll pass in the label H1, We'll give it a time, which is maybe two seconds, and we'll tell it how long to go for. So in this case, I might put it as infinity. 
Now, if we take a look, we can see that animation is happening over and over. We can change what variables are applied, for example, such as we can start off with initial and then it's going out to 1 EM, or we can do the opposite, for example. So that way it looks like it's animating into our keyframe. Let's just make sure that there's an overflow of hidden here for the page so it doesn't create scroll bars. And now we can sort of see how this animation takes effect. We don't always have to apply infinite. We can do something like ease, for example, in. This way, as soon as the page is loaded, this animation will ease in over a period of two seconds. There are other animations we can apply to text as well. For example, we could have a white color here and we could translate this, transition this into a transparent color, for example. We apply this and refresh. Uh, it's probably going the wrong way. So let's swap these across. And this way we get a nice fade in effect. And that looks pretty good. We can also copy over these frames and apply and create some new ones for the H2 tag. Let's apply this over here by copying over the animation uh, property and applying it. We'll start fresh with some new properties. And in this case, maybe we want to animate the font size. We could start off at zero EM and go into its 2.5 EM. And if we refresh that, we can see it zooming in, but it's a little bit too much. So maybe we could just start off at 1.5 EM and that way it's just got a nice zoom in effect that isn't too much for the user to view. Another thing we can do is animate the line height for text. And that way we can have an animation where the text sort of comes in from an extended, expanded point of view and narrows into its normal line height. Let's write some extra text in here and animate that. All right, so in here, what we'll do is we might have something like padding left 30 pixels and padding right 30 pixels. We'll text align this to the center and in here for the animation, we'll start the line height off at maybe 5 EM and reduce it down to 1 EM, which will be the default that we'll set in the H2 tag. Let's apply that and have a look. So that's what it looks like. It's pretty standard, but this is normally what you would expect if you're doing this kind of line height stuff. Obviously, if we made the text a little bit bigger, then we would see a better example of how that happens. But in this case, we just want to keep it pretty standard just so that it has that sort of cool effect where everything's zooming in and out and moving all over the place. For now, I don't really like this animation, so I'm going to remove that and we won't use that for this example. But uh, it's a good thing to know that you can do. Another thing some people might want to do is animate the difference in text weight so that you can go from a lightweight to a thick version of the font. Unfortunately, this doesn't work very well when you're doing animation. Let's apply something in here for the H1 tag. Let's do a font weight of maybe 200 and we'll increase the font weight to 800 here once it's applied the animation. If we do this, we can see that while the animation is taking effect and it is trying to apply that bolder font size, it's a very jarring experience because you're actually transitioning from 200 to 400 to 600 to 800, depending on how many font variations you have. So it's not a very good CSS property to animate for your text. Another thing we can do is overlay text with animations like GIFs and images in the background, which is a cool way to animate them. Let's take a look at how we can apply this in this example. Let's take away these font weights and up here for the H1 tag, let's create a background dash image. And I've got a URL here with what looks like a fire. And for this fire, we want a background uh, clip of text and we also want the color of the text to be transparent. And we also want to create a dash web kit of a background clip of text. When we apply this, we've now got the animated GIF in the background of our text. And this is a really cool effect if you wanna add some animation on there. You can also add your own background styling for this, such as background size cover, or for example, contain. And we can also do background uh, repeat with a repeat of no, or maybe just the X axis. And finally, we can also do the background sizes 100%, 100%. 
and take a look at modifying this so it looks just perfect for our use case example in this case. And let's also change the background position and make this position center bottom. So that's pretty cool. Um, if we do the background uh, color for white, we should have our animation there with a nice background of the fire GIF that I've put in. And it's a cool way to add different sorts of animations to your project. If we refresh that, that's what that more or less looks like. I hope this video gave you a good idea of what it's like to apply different types of CSS text animations to your website. You can utilize a lot of different effects, but sometimes applying too much isn't always a good idea. I normally try to keep it simple and that way things can look good just by adding a small little bit of a transition to your effects. Now, I hope you like this kind of content. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.